it's not easy to stay healthy when you have a career, a family, and a lot going on with your friends. But if you plan ahead, there are many practical things you can do to live healthier. I'm Marta Montenegro, health and fitness expert, publisher, and editor-in-chief of Zobifit magazine, and this is the Montenegro Method. With so many brands and flashy designs, it's easy to feel overwhelmed when shopping for running shoes. With my help and some expert advice from Footwork, we'll make sure that you'll have all the information to buy the right running shoe. Come on in. The starting point for finding the right running shoe is to check your foot type. Here we are with JP from Footworks, who's going to help us to pick the right running shoe. For normal to high arch, you would end up with a shoe without the extra support on the medial side so that it allows for a more neutral stride through the gait cycle and end up being the most efficient possible. From there, a lower to a medium arch, you would end up with a shoe with a little bit more support for a little guidance through the gait cycle to help assist through the stride and give you a more neutral gait. That's gait. me. That's me. I need one of this. From there, the most extreme case of what we just talked about would be the motion control shoes for a real flat foot. And this, as you can see, still has a similar support that the one I just showed you has, but even more so. So this is going to be the most extreme case of support or correction through the foot stride. There's a lot of hype lately about shoes that simulate running barefoot. What's your take on this craze? It actually can be very beneficial to the runner in terms of strengthening the foot if done properly. If you notice, in this case, the manufacturer has made the shoe extremely flexible to almost be an extension of your foot. And if the exercises performed with the shoe and the minimal running, especially in the beginning, are done, you actually can strengthen the foot very well. JP, in my professional practice, one of the most common questions was when to replace your running shoe. Well, the best indication that it's time to replace your running shoe is unusual pain or fatigue. Studies over the years have shown that it's approximately 350 to 500 miles. However, that's hard to quantify with each individual because some people use the shoes for the gym a little bit, they run a little bit, they may walk the dog a couple times a week in the morning. My base advice would say just keep the running shoes for running, okay, and get another pair of shoes for walking your dog or going to the mall or just window shopping, okay, that's good for you, that's JP. great advice. From my experience as a marathon runner, I know that everything is about comfort, the right shoe for your foot type, and of course, don't forget to replace your worn out shoe. Now, you are living healthy with the Montenegro method. Yes! Okay. <laughs> Do you like that one? That yeah.